Hey, hey guys, Mail Modeler here, and we have another inbox review for you today. We're looking at Airfix's Fairy Swordfish Mark I. Uh, now, this follows the announcement that they are uh, re releasing this kit for 2022. Uh, one of the things that the catalogue highlighted for 2022 is we're going to see a number of um, their kits that they've previously retooled being re released. So, we'll have different box art, different decals, things like that. And what I'll do is where I have said kit in the stash, I will be showing you what the kit looks like. Um, so this is the first one then. Um, Airfix recently uh, confirmed that this one will be re-released and is now available to buy. Uh, interestingly, I have here Ravel's kit. Uh, there we go. So you can, that gives you an idea of the size of the aircraft. Um, it's not a bad kit, the Ravel one. Uh, but when I saw the, uh, the tooling offer from Airfix, I thought, yeah, let's, let's have a go with this. So looking at the box then, as you can see, you've got some really interesting uh, box art there. Um, very impressive. Like I say, this is not going to be the one that is uh, available to buy now. Um, this one is kit number um, A04053. So you could probably pick these up from eBay um, or maybe even some model shops still have them in stock. But like I say, the re-release from Airfix is not this boxing. Uh, the kit inside is the same. And that's what we're going to have a look at now. So let's dive into the instructions first off then. So you can see you have some information about the aircraft in different languages. Uh, and then as we come in, you can see the interior goes in first and it's considerably more detailed than the Ravel kit. Uh, so you can see you've got your um, your floor and the, the frame around it. We're already up to, to nine stages and we're still on that interior. Then coming across then, uh, we, we paint the fuselage uh, sections. Uh, and then the fuselage halves go together around the cage, the sort of uh, crew compartment area. Um, then we've got, what have we got here? Um, wing struts. So we're at stage 19 now. Uh, then we come on to the engine, which is made up of a number of different parts. Then the, uh, the tail, tail rudder goes on and you've got the ability to adjust um, the, the angle there, which I think is really nice. Uh, so yeah, we're starting to look a little bit now like a swordfish. The fuselage is together, the engine's on. Then we start the wing construction. Now, this is considerably more um, technical than the uh, Ravel offering. Uh, so what do we have here? We've got the ability to add all sorts of different ordnance. Uh, and what we also have is the ability to fold the wings Obviously, this is a carrier aircraft, um, and therefore the, the wings would have been folded during storage. Uh, so that's a very nice touch. Uh, you might want to buy two of these. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you can see you've got your wing construction there for the wings open. And then if you are um, doing the wings folded, you've got some different options here. And that's called out very nicely for you. So you can see now we've got a whole a whole sort of raft of folded wing options uh, before moving on to the undercarriage and ordnance. And again, you've got a lot of different options available. Um, it's not just your standard um, torpedo. You've got torpedoes, you've got bombs. Uh, and then of course you've got a torpedo trolley, which is really nice. So you can see here, I can easily see people buying two of these and making a proper carrier diorama. All very good. Uh, and then typical of Airfix these days is the, the colour call-out 
on the um, the decals and the paint again really useful to see exactly what the color looks like of course um, these are going to be different to the ones in the box um, but yeah very nice so let's have a look at the kit itself then so you can see uh, it comes together typically in one big bag we have the clear parts sprue um, obviously there's not a lot of clear parts on this kit uh, a few wing windscreens the camera's not picking that up is it well there you go and then the kit itself so this is what airfix will be um, re-releasing it will just be a different box but this is going to give you an idea of the actual kit itself so you can see you have four main sprues then and if we take the fuselage sprue first then see that's very crisp nicely tooled way better than the um the old Revell offering and then inside you can see you've got some very nice interior detailing and that's before you've actually built the the cage structure and if i come on to the engine there there we go look at that very nice uh, now what i don't know is how this comes together fit wise because uh, obviously I've not built this one yet uh, but let's take one of the wing sprues got your ribbing there all very very nice again and then we start the um, the crew compartment area and there's your torpedo very nice again looking good uh, then we have what have we got here this is Oh, so we've got some more more of the crew compartment sort of cage area there we go all very good and then the final sprue then we have the the other wings again just as crisp as the last lot and we have our bomb racks and bombs so yeah like i say um very impressed with this kit and i thought well it makes a really nice model um you know i'm like i say that's the Ravel offering um and i'm looking forward to building this one so yeah thanks very much and i will catch you next time bye